Death Shadow was once one of the best archetypes to bring to a Magic the Gathering tournament, and one of its main weaknesses was Chalice of the Void. Now, how would you get around that? You could destroy it, but what if you weren't in a color that could easily destroy artifacts, or if your opponent put multiple chalices so that a single removal spell wouldn't even do it? Players got creative, and they came up with Throne of Geth. Now, Throne of Geth is a two-mana artifact. It can sacrifice another artifact or itself to proliferate. Now, what you'd do is you'd cast the throne, and you'd sacrifice it to itself, adding a charge counter to all of your opponent's Chalices of the Void. First, it disables all of your opponent's Chalices of the Void, no matter how many there are. Secondly, it dodges the color requirements of a braid or natural state or whatever artifact removal you have. And third, it might also hinder your opponent if they're trying to resolve a CMC2 spell later in the game because they can't just get rid of their own Chalice. I like this example because it gets me thinking about the game in a way that I usually don't.